17th chapter, beginning with verse number 11. And we find these words recorded. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy. <laughs> on us. Come on, anybody ever had, anybody ever, that's been your prayer, just have. I, I, Lord, I don't need to spell it all out for you. Just have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priest. Now that's going to make sense later. But. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, somebody say one of them. When he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. He didn't go to church like us. Uh, he wasn't, but come on. And Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give God glory, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today we're going to talk about gratefulness. And we're going to ask you a question. Are you with the nine or are you with the one? Amen. You may be seated in the presence of our life-changing King Jesus Christ. Gratefulness. Are you with the nine or are you with the one? In this particular passage, I'm going to take a few minutes and I ain't going to be long because somebody going to get healing today. But what I want to express unto us as we dive into this text. Is that the Lord is always willing and ready to heal. The question is, do you believe he can do it? Are y'all with me? Come on, somebody. Because we know he has all power. Come on, somebody. So if you didn't get it, it ain't because he ain't got it. Because you didn't have the faith required. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all know I've been teaching y'all this for years. Faith is the currency of the kingdom. Yeah. Whatever you're going to get from God, you're going to get through faith. He don't need your money. You got to believe him for it. And don't be mad at nobody else because they believe God for something you didn't. You better increase your faith. And faith coming by what? And hearing by what? And how can you hear without a? And how can he preach except he be what? Y'all know the word. Amen. Huh? You know, it's like our, our bank accounts, you know. We can only buy what we can afford to buy. Uh, Y'all, come on, somebody. I wish I had some folk that. No, if you want something, you save for it. Are y'all with me? You build your money up is what I'm trying to get you to say. Now, if you can do that in the natural, why can't we do that in the... Understand that concept in the spiritual. I want for God, I need some faith. I need that currency to get that from God. We always checking our bank accounts. Where y'all at? Now we got apps. We can just look at our money. Whenever we get rid of our phone, see where we at, see what needs to be paid. 
Y'all with me? Have you checked your faith account? When the last time you saw, you checked and see where your faith was at. Ooh. You say you want something from him, but you're going to have to have the faith. That's, are y'all with me? And we go from faith to faith and what? Glory to glory. No glory without no faith. Abraham believed God and it was accounted unto him as righteousness. He just believed what God said. Amen. Let's go through this scripture. Line upon line, precept upon precept. And it came to pass. We're going through this again. As he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered to a certain village... That were met him ten men, ten men that were what lepers, which stood afar off. They had to stand afar off, but why? Because they were lepers. They were diseased. Y'all with me? We understand what disease, COVID, thank you, made us understand. Y'all remember? Don't act like you don't forget. Come on, it ain't been that long ago. Well, we was bump, fist bumping. Badly hugging. Where y'all at? Six feet apart. Y'all don't forget. Yeah, yeah. Some of us come, go to the store. You got a spot for you to sit, for you stand. The lepers, they had a bell hung around their neck. That's so folk could hear them before they come around the corner. And they had, and they was all hanging together because they couldn't be around nobody but lepers. Are y'all with me? And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus. You got to know what name to call on. Even though they were lepers and diseased and shunned from all the community, they still knew. Y'all better better catch up with me. They still knew the man. And when they seen him, they cried out from afar because they couldn't get close to him. And he said, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priest. Now, that's kind of strange. To us, but what we got to realize is in those days, it was the priest that put the bell on their neck. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? It was locked on there. They couldn't take it off. And the only person that could take it off was who? The priest. So before they even hear, he tells them to go on and get your freedom. <laughs> Y'all ain't coming. He told him, now go on and show yourself to the priest. Sometimes you got to obey him to get your healing. I'm trying to, get, I'm trying to set y'all up for healing today. He said, go show yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, somebody say, as. They were cleansed. And when one of them. When he saw that he. Was healed. Somebody say turn back. I imagine he was halfway to the house. To the priest. Come on somebody. The other nine kept going. This one Samaritan. He wasn't even of the faith. He, was a, he wasn't a Jew. This one came back. And with a loud voice, he worshiped God. He 
can't be shame of. Oh, come on, somebody. Huh? When folk ask you who did it, don't be shame to let them know Jesus did it. Yeah, you went to the doctor, and yeah, they did the surgery, but Jesus is the one that healed you. He came back, and he bowed down, and he worshiped. Hmm? And he worshiped. Jesus asked him, I'm going to stop reading, I'm going to paraphrase now. Jesus asked him, he said, when the ten of y'all... Hmm. He said, but where are, where are the nine? The one couldn't answer for the nine. So Jesus just said, go that way. Your faith. Has made you whole. Faith has made you whole. There was another occasion. There was a woman that had an issue of blood for 12 years. Come on, somebody. Huh? Some of y'all been going through some things for years. Are y'all with me? But I love about what this woman, she did not give up. So she went to doctor after doctor, and we've been going to doctors after. Yeah. Come on, let's just keep it real. Yeah. We've been going to doctors after doctors, and they really ain't doing us no good. Yeah. Taking our money, yeah. prescriptions, taking our money. Y'all, yeah, can I? <laughs> well, God wants us to understand that if, if we were just believing, He can do anything. He's still a healer. Matter of fact, he took stripes. He took a beating. So we would be healed. Hallelujah. A man with a lunatic son brought his son to Jesus. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like my kids was a little lunatic sometimes. Uh, y'all want, so y'all want, y'all won't keep it real like me. I, look, I don't know. There's sometime in the water, sometime in the fire. I don't know. But thank God. You see, I brought them to your disciples. They couldn't, they couldn't do it. Jesus said, bring them to me. And he asked the father, he said, do you believe I can do this? And the father said, I believe. But help my unbelief. Hmm? He said, but help my unbelief. That's a good prayer. Listen. Because <laughs> our faith wanes. All of our faith wanes sometimes. Y'all with me? The lunatic man father had enough faith, but he knew that his faith waned sometime. Y'all with me? Hmm? So Jesus rebuked the spirit in the little boy, and he was healed in that very hour. So obviously, the father had enough faith. Y'all with me? Even though he had that little doubt in his mind. You with me? The scriptures say all you need is a. Anybody ever seen a mustard seed? It's the tiniest seed. Are y'all with me? It's like a grain of salt almost. So tiny. He said that's all the faith you need. Amen. Now imagine if you had more than that. Because a mustard seed turns into a tree. If you don't pull it, I got y'all with me, you just let it grow. It turns into. 
a tree. So the question has never been, what, does God want to heal us? Of course he does. The question has always been, do you believe he can do it? Amen. So just like when you go to Walmart, and you know you got your money, when you come to God's house, you better bring that faith. Oh, it, I believe them little ones getting this. And when you go to Walmart, you don't expect to get no more than what your money can buy because we're not thieves. Are y'all with me? Huh? So when you come to the house of God, don't expect for God to move no more than your faith that you have. So here's what I suggest you do. Stop waiting to Sunday or Wednesday night to increase your faith. Grab that Bible on lunchtime. All y'all, you listening to me. <laughs> when you can't go to sleep, grab that Bible and increase your faith. Go to reading and, and confessing stuff. Yeah. Even while you're taking them, that medication that you eat food for, say, God, I thank you for my healing. Instead of taking an aspirin and ibuprofen like we, we normally do when we get a little ache and pain, grab some anointing oil and say, God, I believe. Anoint your head with oil. God, remove, take away these headaches. I don't want to take no medicine. I believe you for it. Are you with me? Because faith that's not exercised becomes weak faith. It's like your muscles. You don't, ex you don't, you know, your muscles, they act, the word is atrophy. When people, when they paraplegic, my son, when he lost the use of his two legs, oh man, his legs shrunk down to little old bitty thing. Because his muscles atrophied it because he wasn't using them, so they just went to nothing. He had no strength in his leg. We had to pick his legs up for him and stuff. Because he wasn't using them. But when he got better, he got to walking. Are y'all with me? The muscles start to, because he went to exercising them. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes he said they be aching and hurting. But come on, somebody, them aches and pains mean the progress. Sometimes pain mean progress. See, we want it all to be easy. Sometimes, no, you're going to have to work at it. you got to do your part, too. Huh? So the next question today is what you willing to do for your healing? Oh, uh, come on now. It's your, it's your. Healing. What you willing to do for it? What you willing to sacrifice for you? Healing. Mm. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 He that has an ear, let him hear. Let him hear. Huh? Father, as I open up this altar for healing, let your precious anointing flow and roll off of me. 